This is the first of two games of Contact After Seven, a version of American Six Wicket. We have Danny Honeycutt, uh, Matthew Essick, uh, Steve Morgan, and Sharif uh, Abdawaha uh, playing. And it is going to be Sharif and Danny versus Matthew and Steve. Sharif and Danny won the toss and chose not to go first. It is now Matthew and Danny to play. Matthew, take it away, and then we'll do the Bam- we'll do the Bamford piece. Uh, after, after, in a minute, once Blue's decided, which it isn't. Go, go ahead, go ahead. We're playing with a chess clock. Each team gets an hour, but it doesn't start yet. Okay, now hold on. Okay, Sharif, are you guys taking it? So, Sharif, are you taking it or not? So, Bamford opening here means that blue plays and red and yellow can decide they want to be blue and black. And they've decided to do that. And he finishes blue's turn. And now the game starts. Okay. So, that's red and yellow. They're they're thinking. They're doing whatever they want to do. When they're done, you just... Touch that. That's red and yellow, blue and black. So, blue and black, or blue, made hoop one, and then chose to go to corner three. Red and yellow came in, made hoop one, and he gets to keep going. He's going right until he's done. It should be marked in and before you and Okay. Yep. Good. All right. It's now black to play. And black is setting up for a croquet out for blue. You'll see that no matter where yellow goes, Whether he makes the hoop or not, it'll be blue to play. And that could lead to a croquet out or it could lead to an attack. There is no 45 second rule because of the chess clock. Each team has an hour. They can use it as they choose. The opening is three feet behind the hoop, but if there's a three foot area line that you can use rather than just nine inches. Steve shoots and sets a wide join, which is a good response. <clears throat> it's blue to play. All right, blue to play. Blue rushes black. Rushes black toward yellow. He will take croquet from black. 
I believe he'll send black to yellow. He may go to yellow himself, or he may go to red. We'll see. Here he comes. Touches yellow. Now he'll take off to red. Good shot. The lawns are quick today. He's out. He's out. That's the risk of this strategy. So he ends two ball dead. No, he rushed red out. He rushed red out. Red takes over. You switched it, right? Okay, thank you. Good timing. So I would tell you that Sharif and I played this game and he did that about 20 times to me without going out. Okay. Now, red is for hoop two. So, Matthew wanted a ball that can be used as a pioneer at three. Gonna pop Flack in. Ideally, he'll be a decent pioneer for four. Get the rush on yellow to two. going to see a long roll shot. So here we go. can't tell. Yellow stays in. Let's see if Matthew can make the hoop. Making the hoop is useful obviously to clear deadness, but also just to keep going. And Matthew may just choose to set up for yellow if he doesn't have a hoop shot. Remember, yellow's for one. Okay. So, red ends three ball dead. Still for two. It's black to play. Black is clean. Just make sure yours matches theirs, okay? Your board matches theirs, which it does at the moment. They're keeping that board. Danny is black, is shooting at his partner blue. And hits, very nice. 
Now, remember, black is for one. So I believe Danny will take off to yellow and then use red to make one. Oh, he's going to roll there. Okay. Even better. Oh, black stays in. Oh, great shot. Great shot. Okay. Black is going to move yellow toward the peg, I believe, getting the rush on red to one. Good shot. Great rush. Barring a disaster, Danny should make one. didn't. Interesting. Okay. Danny's three ball dead. It is yellow to play. A lot of deadness for professionals. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, Danny had it all laid out for him. He was going to go to blue and then to yellow, but all right. Let's see if Steven can pick it up. Because red is three ball and can't hit black out of there, so yellow's got to hit. Nice shot. Stay in. Stay in. Nope. Well, no hit, no cost. I mean, no deadness, I mean. So that, that means that black will definitely get clean. Because red is three ball. Blue can go to position, which I think he'll do. Remember, blue is for two, black is for one. Excellent. Good shot. Okay. Red's probably going to give a rush to Yoav? We'll see. got that board you're keeping that one we're keeping this one we're making sure they're the same so red is fleeing corner four actually didn't quite catch the corner okay and black is very happy with this. Lucky. Black gets clean. Now, black can try to peel blue here, get him clean. Right. 
probably I would do the peel afterwards. And then black could send blue to red. But let's see what he's going to do. Yes, he rolls them both up there. Ah, he's just going to leave blue in position. Okay. Okay, so black made hoop two. And goes out. It's yellow to play. Yellow's queen. But black is guarding the shot by yellow at blue. Chooses not to take it. And shoots to partner. He hit. Boy, he hits. <laughs> what a great attempt. Because he then could have gone and taken out blue, but didn't happen. All right. So blue makes hoop two. And sets a rush for black. It's red, who's three ball to play. The best red could do would give Yo a rush or he can just pass. Yes, yes, blue screen. So once again, red and yellow are choosing a wide join. All right, here comes Danny. A little long. That's a good roll shot. Danny makes hoop three. Nicely. Doesn't get a rush on blue, but I think he's going to do a croquet out. Let's see. No, he's just going to rush blue out of bounds. And himself. Okay. Not much Yo can do except flee. Good shot. All right. No. No. Black rushed him out and himself, so there's no deadness. Okay. Blue gives black the rush.
Okay. Black to play. Is Black going to come and make four? He could just set for hoop three for, for blue. Question is, when are they going to go get red and yellow? All right. Seems like he's going to try to make hoop four. Good shot. Ah, okay. Looks like he's taken off. He'd be taking off to yellow. Here he comes. They're big and strong. They can go get them. That's a great takeoff. To yellow. A takeoff to the attack. Touches yellow, goes against red. And wants to clean at who four, ideally, in the process. Wonderful play. Brings yellow in. So it'll be useful. Just don't give yellow a chance to make hoop one, which is his hoop. And get the rush on red, no matter what. Uh, Danny, I'm not sure you wanted it there, but all right. If Danny makes four, all's forgiven, he can go move yellow. Yo, it can only make one hoop, so it's not much damage anyway. Good rush. Go make the hoop, Danny. Okay. Great hoop shot. And Danny should continue. Use yellow for five. So he needs a rush on blue to either five or to yellow. So he'll do the takeoff and then take a look. Let's see what he does. Can't tell from here. That's to yellow. Now remember, we have the contact after seven rule. So I do not believe Danny is going to go beyond hoop six. They do it at the end of the turn. He's doing it intra turn. Okay. Gets the rush on yellow to five. Shot. (laughs) 
Ooh, just gets there. Good shot. Makes the hoop. Remember, we're coming to his sixth and last hoop, so he needs to think of a leave. And, well, not yet. Not yet. So is he three ball? Yes. Yep, three ball. All right. Well, yellow, who's clean, has everything. Red, who's three ball, needs to be peeled or left at hoop two. So let's see how they choose to play it. Lovely shot. Notice that by doing that, Steve can rush red over and then send him to two going to blue and be off. There it goes. Now, red is three ball, and red is now at the hoop he needs to be peeled. This is all good news for red and yellow. Steve didn't like that rush. He'll just take off, make the hoop. So I believe Steve will make this hoop. Hit blue. Send it to three going to black. Because he wants to rush red up close. Make the hoop and then peel. There he goes. Like a 60% roll. What a great shot. What a great shot. Rush is black. Big thing here is to get the rush on red. It'd be nice to get black up there because after red's peel, yellow needs to go to black. So he's gonna try to send him. Yep. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Rush red as close as you can. Good shot. Gonna try to put red right by the stanchion. Go make the hoop. Rush red back and peel him. Go into black. Let's see if all that happens. Yes. Touches red. I uh, wasn't in a position to put him back. So we can just leave red in position. Yep, Red's in position, still three ball dead. Steve will continue his break. He's for three, he can come back and peel him again. Mm. 
wants to send a ball toward four, which is black, of course, getting the rush on blue to three. So when will Steve try the peel? He could try the peel on the way to five. I'm sorry. Yeah, on the way to five. If he wants to. Looks like he may do that. Nope, he's not. He's going to send that to five. He may be happy just leaving red in position. We'll see. Blue to five. Quasi rush on black. Okay. Steve's good at the roll shot that's coming up. Good shot. Think. Think. Nope. He doesn't like it. Doesn't like it. But black is three ball dead, so we can try it. Yep. Turn ends. So yellow is opponent dead. Blue to play. Blue's clean. No, no, just, just. Opponent dead. Blue to play. Remember blue? He's for three. He's clean. So I think Sharif is going to hit yellow and use black to make three. Leave yellow as a pioneer for four, I think. Sharif's getting fancy. He's going to red. I think. Yep. Okay. Moves red toward the center. Gets the rush on red for sure to three. <laughs> That's a nice shot. Still think Sharif wants to peel partner at five. Let's see. If so, he needs to go get him now. Yep. Gets the rush on red to black. Now. 
He'd love to send red into the center and get the rush on black. Yep, he has the luxury of a very good pioneer at four. So he can rush black toward the east and then send him to five. Stay in. Oh. Okay, I don't think that was what, in, what he intended, but it can play. <laughs> Notice red is positioned as an escape ball. Let's see if Sharif does what I think he'll do, which is a pass roll, ideally leaving blue, black in position going to yellow. Here we go. Mm. Well, I thought he would have tried to leave black shorter, but this is it. Okay, so we're at hoop four. Once again, we're coming up against the hoop seven barrier. Okay. I think he's going to send I'd like to send yellow to six. Getting the rush on black. There we go. Good shot. Hmm. <laughs> A little longer would have been nice, but. Okay. Roll them both over. Oh, oh, he's going to red? He's trying to peel? No, he's just taking him off to red. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Gotta have red to go to afterwards. <laughs> this will be interesting. He makes the hoop. Does he turn around and hit black? Oh, well, he was thinking about it. Okay. Blue is three ball. The board is extremely colorful for cal players of this caliber. Red's three ball, black's three ball, blue's three ball, only yellow has anything to do. So red can go to yellow. Yep. And he's judging himself. He's setting up to be judged because he. Box three ball. I'm not sure what he's trying to do. Oh, he's trying to jump. He's trying to jump. We saw him practice that shot. Let's see. Yeah, because if he hits him out of place, they just return. It's worth a try.
But didn't happen. All right, now Yellow clearly wants to make his hoop, but Yellow, <laughs> I don't think Yellow's going to keep them both dead. We'll see. And once again, we're at hoop four. Alright, so how would you play this if you were yellow? You're for four, you can rush right over and make it. I think that's what he's going to try to do. The other thing is he could rush blue out of the hoop and try to use it to make the hoop, but I think he's trying to cut him over. Yeah, that's fine. Steve would love to make this hoop and go knock Blue out and make and then make five. And six and leave them six ball dead. This would be fabulous. Here he is. Good hoop. Okay. I believe red goes to six and Steve goes north of blue. Definitely wants to leave him dead. Yep. S to six gets north of blue unless I'm missing something. Yeah, that's right. Good shot. Okay. Turns around now, makes the hoop. Remember, red wants black. So yellow is going to make this hoop. Uh, oh, is he wired? Oh, he's wired from blue. <laughs> okay. Makes this hoop. Could take off to blue to make the hoop. No. All right, just go make it. Blue's three ball, so we can leave him anywhere on the lawn. And he can't do any damage. Remember, red is also three ball. So red needs to be in position or peeled. So Steve has made hoop six. He cannot and will not make seven. So they're trying to decide what to do. I think you rush red over. Leave him in position, take off to black, and you've got everything. See if that's what they do. I think the most important thing is red in position.
And of course, all of this is happening because of contact after seven. Steve could just go on, but doesn't want to. Oh, that's a good shot. I think red has a makeable hoop shot. And yellow has a free shot at black. I think so. Not sure. Yes, he hit. He hit. Wonderful. Wonderful. Very simple. I think he sent black to three and go to red. What a turn. What a great turn. As long as red can make the hoop, red and yellow are in business. Red makes the hoop. He can then turn around and peel yellow going to blue. Let's see if that's what happens. So blue's going to move somewhere. Question's where. Good turn. So... We are 11 ball dead at the moment. Blue's going to shoot out of bounds. He's got to. All right, here we go. Job one, make a hoop. Get clean. Everything else counts on that. Hoop made. Okay. Now what? I think he just runs around. Not going to try the peel now. Yeah. I'm thinking he sends black to four, uh, yellow to four, going to black. Let's see if I'm right. Yep. All right, now remember, yellow's two ball dead and is for seven. So red would love to peel yellow. So red's going to pick up blue after four and set up for the peel. Black to five, going to yellow. Trying to rush black down to make his croquet shot easier, but <clears throat> yeah. Black to five, going to yellow. Close to a full roll. Okay. We should whack her a little further, but it's fine. (laughs) 
Okay. As I said, I think he goes and he gets... Oh, come on. Rush it over there. Oh. Huh? Yeah. Take off to blue. Blue to six. Goes to black. Or blue to escape to six, actually. Goes to black. Yep. So that there's a chance to peel yellow going to blue after this. All right, makes it five. Remember, black's the danger bowl. So we're gonna wanna get rid of it soon anyway. But we definitely have got to get to yellow. So black's been gotten rid of. Takes off to yellow. Oh jeez. Good shot. Good shot. He's not gonna try the peel now, but he's gonna rush him up there and send him to peel position. Okay. Yeah. If you want to give that up, we can just put it here and for, or forget about it. Okay. Yellow to seven. A little short, but not horrible. Okay. Now, they're both three ball dead still. Opponent, blue and black. Very fortuitous. Okay, make this. At worst, red can jaws. But yellow will peel him, and then you can turn it around. Okay, that's fine. Julie, that makes real sense. Yeah. All right. So, hoop six has been made. Yeah. Who's three ball? I'm not quite sure why they're worried about it. Well, I guess the hope is that yellow, red gets to peel yellow and yellow gets to continue. Let's see. So certainly red's gonna go to yellow. Whether he tries to peel yellow or just draws himself. Uh, you know, let's see. I don't know if this is right. No, oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, no, it's got to be that uh, red peel Joe. Yes. <laughs> this is an important peel. Yeah, this peel matters.
Oh, great peel. Yeehaw! All right. Now remember, black is three ball, blue is three ball, and there we go. So, no contact after seven, but they get a cleaning. They get a cleaning. Let's see what they take. They clear black. Red is for eight. Oh, red is for seven. Red is for seven. And red should be two ball dead there, I think. Red is dead on yellow and blue. Black needs to hit. Nope. All right. Steven takes over. His goal is to get to the peg and peel red. So red to nine, as yellow goes to blue, it is the pioneer for eight. The beauty is blue is still three ball dead. Good shot. Makes this may get a rush on blue, which would be very nice. But needing to make the hoop is more important. Good shot and gets the rush, of course. Blue to four back. Going to red. Pretty, pretty. Rush is red nicely to three back. Nice croquet shot. Perfectly in front of the hoop.
makes the hoop. Ah, is he going to rush red to black? No. He's going to send red to Penelope going to blue at 10. Gets the rush on blue nicely. Red's well positioned. Hmm. Not his best rush. I think he needs a half roll. Good shot. I think he rushes blue to black. Takes off and gets black. Very pretty. Should pick up black easily. Not terribly hard, but Steve needs to send a ball to Rover. Remembering it's American, going to red. Here it comes. Little long with black, but it'll be fine. Okay, going to make penalt. Remember, red is still for seven. Red still could give up contact, but red could also just finish and it won't matter. Whoops. All right. So yellow. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. He, yellow is now three ball. And blue is three ball. Red's problem is that he can go and set up, but it's black's queen. Black's queen. So this is going to be very interesting. Red is alive on black. He's got, I think red shoots at black. If he gets it, nope. All right, they're gonna go out. Here comes black. Remember his partner blue is three ball. And he's for hoop five, faces the constraint of hoop seven coming up. So he's going to need to leave blue 
in front of. Huh? What's it doing? So he leaves blue there. Okay, it's gonna knock yellow out. Keeping yellow three ball. Dead. Okay. Yellow's three ball and not in position. Black will take off and try to make his hoop, which is hoop five. Here he comes. And gets position. Yay. But what he's gonna do is not make the hoop right. doesn't make the hoop so that blue can come to him. Remember, he can only make hoop six unless he wants to give contact or go make seven and keep going. <laughs> Yellow <laughs> makes penalt. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. You actually got that? Yeah. You yeah, actually got that. I didn't think Yellow had a shot. All right. Yellow's going to try to hit black. But if not, he goes out. Okay. Blue, good news for yellow is that blue is still three ball. All right. Blue can come to black. Which he's gonna do right there. And let's see if black can leave blue in front of his hoop. A little more, because he would have loved to have uh, peeled him going to yellow, but all right. Red pass. Did red pass? Yes. Thank you. Yes, red passed. It's black to play. So black's going to make the hoop. Okay, hit blue, leave blue in position, going to yellow. Yeah, remember yellow is live, so he's got to move yellow. Ah, he's saving it. Okay. Saving both the hoop he hasn't made, which is six, and deadness. All right. It's 
So yellow is clean. It's going to shoot to red. Or well, red's going to shoot to him. This is where the chess clock comes in handy because they can use as much time as they want. <laughs> All right. It is blue to play. Remember blue? Blue's not in position. So blue's going to give a rush to black. Okay, now... Mm-hmm. All right, so now I don't think red can shoot to yellow. We'll see. <laughs> I guess he's going to. All right. And let Danny... Come attack. All right, here comes Danny. Yes, not far enough. Danny wanted to peel blue, but they can try again to put blue in position, going to red and yellow. He's going to red. Let's see. Oh, he may have left him in position, though. And... Yay! Stays in. Stays in. And blue's in position. Hit red, and life is good. Great shot. Great shot. Now, he really would like a rush on yellow to six. I think he got it. Shot. Now Danny is about to make hoop six. Okay, Danny will make this hoop. We say confidently, though he's missed a couple others like this. Makes the hoop. Good shot. Okay. Now he's got a choice. He can rush yellow to red, get red for blue. And red is dead on blue. So 
So the other possibility is just to shoot to blue. Yellow is clean. Yellow could hit. Here we go. Ah. He could also just take off to blue put blue in real good position if he doesn't like it. That'll let blue make its hoop, but not much else. I think he may just come to blue, fix blue. A little hard. A little hard. So he's trying to leave yellow wired from blue. Croquets him back. Yay, Blue's finally in position. Okay. Yellow is clean, so as long as Yellow's got a shot on red, Black can go anywhere, and he's getting off. There we go. Good turn. Good turn. Interesting turn. Black's dead on yellow. So the shot by yellow at black sort of free. Red's dead on yellow, the shot at red's free. And that puts red and yellow together so that red could set for yellow. Okay. It's blue to play. Blue's been waiting to get clean for quite a while. There we go. Picks up his clip. Quite happy. But now he assesses the situation. Shoots out the partner. It's red to play. Yep, just giving him a rush. Here we go. All right, black to play. Remember, black's still for six. The black is dead on blue. And black just makes it a little wider.
Sharif, clean blue. Okay. Here comes the attack. What a great rush. Okay. Red wants black. Red is for seven. <laughs> I think they're going to have... If red gets black, red's going to try to go all the way and peel yellow to finish. Let's see if this happens. That'd be really fun. Don't go out. Oh, amazing shot. Amazing shot. Okay. Okay. He's got to send... Remember, red is only alive on black. Going to put it there. Going to blue. None of this matters unless red can play bl against black. Okay. He got to blue. Don't know if red can rush black to seven. All right. I believe Yoho tries his hoop. Sending blue away, going to position. Here he comes. Come on. Good shot. Oh, we went out. Turn over. What a great try. Hmm? Yes, he is. He's taking croquet. He's dead on. Boop. Wow. The deadness here is overwhelming. Blue to play. Blue's clean. Yellow is three ball dead. Please mark yellow's deadness. Red's going to try. Okay. Good shot. Danny's finally marking Yo's deadness. Thank you. All right. Important roll shot here. Here he comes. Yeehaw! Great shot. And that should be the game. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, red just has to finish and peel yellow along the way. Notice, red made seven. So if red breaks down, they get contact. When will black, red get blue? <clears throat> He's going to finish. He's going to finish. Okay. Yeah, yeah.
Oh, what a great roll shot. He goes and he makes eight. Yep. Question is, does he bother with blue? <laughs> yep. Uh, he's going to bother with blue. Yep. Russia Joe to blue. Stay in. Take off. shot. Wonderful shot. Perfect. And the rest should be easy. Blue to 10. Going to black. Look at the Pioneer. Look at the Pioneer. It's perfect. <laughs> okay. We still need the peel. Now it can be done as a straight rover, which is actually pretty easy in American. Or it could be done on the way to 11. So I think he'll send black to 11, maybe short going to yellow. Oh, he's just going to leave it there. Interesting. Yeah, I think he's pretty happy with the straight rover peel. Here's four back. Needs to go to yellow. Yeah, blue down to rover, going to yellow. Yellow rushed behind black and sent down to rover. Here comes yellow. Going to black. Yellow needs to be on the other side. But there's time to get it there. Through. 
it's black. Rolls to yellow. Guess he's actually gonna go to blue first. He wanted to get a rush on blue. Now what? Okay, hits blue. Needs the rush on yellow. Yep. Okay. Straight rover time. Very nice. Very nice. Straight rover going to blue or black and then the peg out. Lovely. Hit. Okay. Blue to black to yellow to peg out. Behind you would be nice. Okay, take off. Rush over to the peg. Bravo!